evening of the 30th of December and we are getting ready to head off. Gonna head off tomorrow morning about 11. Pretty exciting, feel like we're cutting the umbilical cord and we're leaving the house. We're moving out where uh, our teenage years are over and uh, we're out of there. Anyway, yeah, three months of hard work and we got the boat to a state where we feel like she's ready for sea, so what you gotta do next is go to sea and find out. Close drawing our uh, page to our uh, new logbook. Yep. Very nice. Mm -hmm. And while she's doing that, I'll take you for a tour outside. And show you. We've got all the lines prepared. We've got our uh, Genoa sheet, staysail sheet. And blue lines here for the triangulation of the main sheet, virtually like a starboard preventer. And we've got the runner, starboard runner, main sheet. Everything's figure eighted and ready to go. Now we've got our furling lines here, board up and down. And then this is the uh, outhaul. And then we've got the main halyard here as well. Oh, sorry, this is the outhaul here. This is the topping lift, and that's the uh, halyard. Yeah, we've been running for the last few days off solar. So, um, yeah, we've got all the instruments on just to make sure that we can uh, provide ourselves with enough power with the solar. Clothes put our watches up here so we know what time we've got to be on watch. And, uh, yeah, we're ready to rock and roll. We've lashed down the hatches like this. I think it's really cool. They don't budge. It's awesome. It's just one half hitch. So it's virtually, if you can undo the first half hitch, which is a lot easier with two hands, then all you've got to do is pull the tail and then it's undone. The whole thing just undoes. Yeah, super cool. And then you can get in the hatch. Yeah, really like it. Super simple. Probably need two hands to do it up, but yeah, it's just like this. And you pull it really tight. Do the clove hitch. Leave a bit of tail out, and then yeah, just do another half hitch just to hold the tail. Super secure. Anyway, I'll come back and tighten it up, but yeah, awesome. Girls gave the boat a wash today, so it's looking really good. It's hard to believe. Yeah, it's looking so good. And uh, we'll have to put that esky inside. We'll probably have it inside near the table as a seat. You can see we've got the sheets run. We've had them off since we've been on the boat for the last three months. All the lines have just been stored out of the uh, weather in the float there, in the aft starboard float. Got a couple of lines drying. And uh, yeah, tomorrow morning early we'll be off. We're gonna head off today, but it was a bit breezy. And my back's been a bit sore today after running all the lines and everything. I was a bit sore, so we're not in a hurry. So we figured that, um, yeah, we'll just stay here another night and we'll head off tomorrow morning early. The weather looks a bit nicer, a little, little less breeze. It's probably blowing solid 25s out there. So first day out on the boat, we might as well take it a bit easy. Anyway, all the best for the new year to everyone. 6am and we're leaving. On our way. Oh yeah. yeah. Woohoo. Oh yeah, we've got a little bit of breeze. Check out those black carbon sails. Nice. Are you doing fours? Yeah, little props folded.
Occasionally see a little thruster down there. I can't believe we've got a bow thruster. I'm definitely the sort of person that always said we will never have a bow thruster on a boat. But this boat came with a bow thruster and a king size bed. And uh, both have been a pleasant surprise. <laughs> yeah, the bow thruster definitely makes it easy to put, put the boat in the marina, that's for sure. Makes it really easy, actually. And uh, yeah, it's got heaps of thrust. It's pretty cool. And uh, in the king size bed, well, that's something I always dreamt about, but I never thought I'd own. And here we are, owning a boat that's got a king size bed. Isn't she sweet? A really high cut foot on that jib, on that Genoa. We're going to have to sort that out. We're going to have to get rid of that bow rail, I think, and put a deck sweeper on it. We're losing a lot of sail area there, a lot of horsepower. It's good though, the main boom's pretty low, so we're not, not losing too much there. But yeah, I think we will um, we'll get some pro sail designers and friends to come on board and tell us what we can do to uh, up the horsepower a little bit. But yeah, we'll, we'll bring that prodder, we'll build a better prodder and uh, put a really nice big reacher out there as well have the anchor hanging below the prodder and uh, yeah, we'll increase our sail area somewhat and uh, yeah, we should be able to get a couple extra knots in these light airs which is what it's all about, this is when you want to be sailing and you can see the boards away normally right there would be the centre board but today while we were sailing, uh, before we were doing about five, six knots, uh, we put it up and down a few times. I just wanted to see, yeah, just wanted to see how it worked when the boat was underway and it worked beautifully. It's really hard to believe, you know, um, the board wouldn't come up originally. For the first couple of months we were on the boat, I, I've been putting it up and down probably every few days, just trying to get it working. And, um... And yeah, it seems like it was full of barnacles and uh, we got the hull cleaned a couple of weeks ago and um, that helped a lot. And then we cleaned it again the other day and uh, the board's now going right up into the case and uh, everything's working and really happy. And it works really well even underway, which is super cool, super, super cool. Starting to, just starting to hum along. See if we can uh, keep these sails together. There we go. Yeah. Ten knots, true wind speed, fifteens. Not bad, fifteen knots, and we're doing tens. Yeah, exactly. That's why you have a moldy hole. With this sea sail. Yeah, we're pushing and not a current as well. Yeah. Right. Because our boat speed through the water is 10, 11. It's against us, yeah. Sail at around about uh, eight knots of breeze, six to eight, maybe occasionally a little puff of ten, and we're sort of sitting on sevens. The boat's going great, especially considering um, 
especially considering the shape of these super duper new carbon fiber sails we've got. We've got the latest technology there. We've got what they call the slit leak. And um, it's an added aero feature that they're putting on all the new jibs now. And uh, they just put a little slit in your leech. And they're also doing the thing called the white spot. And uh, these white spots are a new material that they're testing out on this boat. Super high tech stuff. And, uh, and you can see we've got the latest technology with the grey film sail. And yeah, they're still pushing us along really nice. Super calm out here today. Not a breath of wind, apart from the apparent that we're making as we motor along. How clear is that water? Boat's going fantastic. It's been doing really well. A nice calm night, very uneventful, a little bit of traffic going into Punta Arenas, a couple of ships, but that's about it. A little bit of nice sailing as the sun set yesterday afternoon and then today has just been like this, totally glassed out. There's a huge mountain range in here behind all the clouds and uh, it pretty much blocks the uh, Caribbean trade winds from coming over in this whole area from Punta Arenas. We are south all the way down to uh, Golfito, which is just down here about 40 miles to the south. This whole bay, this whole area is, uh, is always fairly become this time of year. And, uh, another turtle over here, we've seen a few turtles today. What's happening, Captain? What's happening? We can spot the ball. Can spot the ball. And now we are checking trying to do squash here. Yes. Alright. <laughs> Pretty clean little wake off the back. Having a beautiful sail. It's been a spectacular day. It's been awesome. And uh, just have a look at the conditions. We're motor sailing, it's super light. And check out that sunset. Unreal. That's what makes it all worthwhile. Have a look at that. It's almost midnight and we are going to anchor. Let's see what the boys are doing. Come into the settings. You go to alarms. You got anchor monitoring. Turn it off. Anchor watch on and then you set your distance or radius. Well, our first uh, night on anchor. Uh, over here we've got Golfito. See how that sunrise, beautiful. 
Yeah, we came in at about 1 a.m. this morning. Came in around the point into the bay. And we just figured we'd pull up here for the night to anchor, just to get some rest. There's another couple of hours into gold feed and we're all pretty tired. So we're just hanging off the pick here. And now we're just hanging off rope. Seems to be, seems to be going pretty well. The old rope, the old rope and hook. Doing it old style. But yeah, boat went great. Boat went awesome. Had a bit of rain last night on the way in here, which is to be expected. This is the uh, wettest town in Costa Rica, an average of 300 inches of rain a year. Well, Spirit's happy to be out of the marina. Listen to her having a little flap, a little flap about. But yeah, boat went great. And we'll rest here for a couple of hours this morning and then we'll head into Golfino. Approaching Golfito, on our way to clear out. Unbelievable. After four very, very long months. Like it's like, oh, just because he's three. It's already cold. Yes, this is already cold. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh you put the ice in there and it's Yeah, and in. it just shuts. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Yeah.